So now let's talk about setting up your Amazon seller account because it can be a little bit daunting when setting up your Amazon seller account. It's not as simple as just adding an email, adding a password. There is a lot of information you do need to add. You have to have a call as well. So let's get into it. First thing to do is head over to this Amazon seller account page and click sign up. And once you've done that, you're going to see this page where you can enter your details. So put your name in, your email and set yourself a password. The next thing you're going to come across is adding your business information. So we're going to be talking about this as if we're in the UK, but it's very similar if you're in the US, Canada, India or wherever it may be. All of this information is interchangeable. You see a few sections on here. So first up is our business location. So obviously we're going to put United Kingdom. Business type, we're gonna set sole proprietor. Now there are a number of options you can pick. You may have a company, a limited company, or if you're in America, an LLC, which you can put that in here as well. But for most people, you're gonna to need to set up as a sole proprietor. And I'll be talking more about that very shortly. Now next up, we've got the business name used to register with your state or federal government. Now this is just basically what you wanna call your Amazon business. So for me, it might be Joe Sales. It could be absolutely anything. Obviously, as you're selling on Amazon, you are a business and you need some branding. You don't need to stress about it too much, to be honest with you, and your business name isn't gonna affect your sales at all. Now onto the next step is adding some more business information. So we've got a few things we need to enter here. So first up is your UTR number. So this is your unique taxpayer reference number. In order to sell on Amazon, you do have to be registered as self-employed. You'll need a UTR number. You can apply for this on the government's website. So. You just enter that in here and then you enter your registered business address so for most people this is going to be your home address you're not going to have a warehouse you're not going to have an office at this time just put in your home address in here and then verify your phone number so put in your phone number and you'll get a pin through from amazon just to verify it now next up is your personal information so you're gonna to have to put your country of citizenship so for us it's united kingdom your, your country of birth your date of birth your proof of identity so most people use a passport or a driving license and your date of expiry and the country of issue as well. Um, and then add in your residential address, so where you live, so your mobile number. Now the next step is your billing information. So this is gonna how Amazon are gonna take their money for their subscription. Just enter in here and then click next. Now next up we have the store information. So you'll see a number of sections here. The first is the store name. So most people just put their business name in here, but you can put something different. Um, if you do prefer. Again, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to affect sales too much, but just decide what you want to call yourself. You'll see a few yes or no answer questions just here. So first up is, do you have universal product code, UPCs for all your products? So we'll tick yes for this. So this is just the barcodes. Now, because we're doing arbitrage, or even if you're doing wholesale, you're going to be selling pre-branded products, which already have barcodes on. You're not creating the barcodes. So this is why we answer yes to this question. Are you the manufacturer or brand owner? I know you'll be able to see yes on the screen but just tick no for this one again we don't own the big brands now if you're doing private label or selling your own products and obviously you click differently and then finally do you own government registered trademark for the branded products you want to sell on amazon no we don't own the trademark for the products we're selling now the next step will be verifying the information you have submitted amazon's going to require documentation your name your date of birth your identity data a document to identify you this might be a bank statement utility bill something along them lines there's loads to pick from and one additional document and then your business address so once you have submitted this information your next step is you're going to be able to book your amazon seller verification call we're going to have a whole section about that next up so keep on watching mm -hmm. 